We've been waiting for this for almost nine years, and he's been on dialysis since 2011. Hey guys, um, it's July 2nd, and um, it is 11.50 p.m., and we just said our good nights. Um, this is like the hardest thing to do is to actually be away from each other. Um, I just, I really don't like being here alone without my husband and it's just it's the worst this is the hardest part is not being able to be there with him and not being able to visit him and just you know not being able to see what he's doing and how he's doing so anyways but um good thing that we could facetime but yeah um just getting ready to go to bed and tomorrow is on to day three which technically tonight at six, it's been 24 hours since his surgery was done. So, um, yeah, I don't know how to count that, but you get the point. But I have somebody here that I'm going to show you. He's right here. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Okay guys, so today is Friday the 3rd and morning we had a call with a pharmacist who went over all the prescriptions, medications that he's going to be needing to take and so they're getting an order for that to the pharmacy today and maybe he will be coming out tomorrow. Um, getting discharged tomorrow, Saturday the 4th possibly, we don't know for sure yet. Um, so that's good. Um, another thing is he said that, um, <clears throat> he said that his kidney is working, but not as well as it should at this moment. So he is, um, going to need dialysis before it starts, uh, working, uh, completely like well. So that kind of sucks. I don't know how normal this is um, since I really wasn't able to talk to the doctor about it. Um, this is what's really frustrating about this whole um, experience is that I'm not there. I can't go to the hospital and be there when the doctors are visiting and asking them questions. Other than that, everything else seems to be going okay. Um, and um, I look like poop because I haven't washed my hair today um, because I want to diet so it's been overdue I don't, I, I'm sure you guys can tell it. I'm gonna try and dye my hair today and then look a little bit better hopefully so we'll see you later. Hey guys so today is Saturday the 4th and if you're celebrating happy 4th and uh, what I'm doing now is I'm actually cleaning the bedroom um, cleaning the floor sweeping mopping dusting doing kind of all these kind of sorts of things to make sure that everything's clean so I've got my mop right there just mopping the floor picking things up some things are on the bed right there um, but anyways because my husband might come, be coming home today so I just want to get this done and yeah, that's what I'm doing so far. Um, been getting calls from different people, um, learning about medications. Um, yesterday we had a call with a dietitian, no, yeah, a dietitian about food and uh, with a pharmacist about his medications that he's going to be taking. And today I just had a call from a clinic that he's going to be visiting twice a week for the first I think three months or so um, so yeah so just kind of getting all that information but that's what's going on so I'll talk to you later coming out and on my way to go pick up my husband so yeah I'm so excited I am nervous but I'm excited I am gonna go and um, go stop at one hospital to get his prescription medications first and then after that, I'm going to go to the hospital where he's at and then get him. So, yeah, and the reason I'm saying I'm nervous is just it's going to be a new chapter in our life. Um, and it's going to be uh, 
a lot of new things that we need to get used to and kind of get into the routine so that's why I, I am that type of person who is uh, who doesn't really like the change that much but at the same time I know we can do it it's just I don't like to go through the process of you know learning the new things and and making the changes and all that so so yeah it's gonna be you know <clears throat> hopefully it's not gonna be too complicated and too difficult to go through all this and then um, you know as soon as we get used to things and things are gonna get back into um, it's new normal and in place and it's gonna be much better I'm here at the hospital that has the pharmacy that I'm supposed to pick up the pills at so I just went in got it I think they had people waiting outside in line so so they don't let too many people go in um, so I had to wait a little bit uh, maybe I don't know how long it took me maybe f about 30 minutes or so so anyways got the pills this is a big old bag I don't know if you can tell how big it is I'll show you compared right there so big old bag there's a bunch of pills in there I don't know if you can see I think all together is like 10 10 different ones so there's that and there's that right there so just a bunch of pills but anyways heading to the hospital where my husband is at so I can drop the pills so they can review it and then finally I'm gonna go and pick him up so I just made it to the parking lot of the hospital where my husband is staying and I'm just waiting to hear when I need to go and drop off his medications and then after that I'm just gonna be waiting in the car for him to get released released I don't know if that's a good word to say because that sounds like jail um, anyways waiting for him to be discharged and then once I get a call then I can go and pick him up um, in my car and meet them somewhere down downstairs so anyway so I'm just gonna be waiting and yeah so really excited I'm getting excited that he's coming out um, it's been a hectic day I cleaned a lot at home hey guys I don't know if you can hear me but I am about to meet my husband they're taking him downstairs right now so I'm not allowed to go inside but I am out here waiting for him and here we go who do I have here <laughs> this guy so I just picked him up um, he, we're in the car and obviously and we're gonna go home are you excited well yeah yeah I wanna be home already are you done being at the hospital yes yeah it always sucks being in there <sighs> Yes. But yes. anyways, we're gonna go and then uh, we'll talk more about things that happen. So, but how are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Not too I bad. Not bad. I was stinky a little, but. Yeah, I'm that's good. to be expected. Not being able to wash in the hospital. Yeah. Anyways, okay. We'll see you guys later. Okay. Uh, so, we're gonna go ahead and take this off right here. And you guys are gonna see a surprise. So we want to show you guys to share this with you but but um because he's gonna take a shower tonight and, I and take a shower for four days yes and they said it's okay so we're just gonna take this off because he's at home and i'm gonna do it really slow but i'm just gonna i'm gonna just take it off and then show you guys so hold on okay so this is what it looks like there it is it's what it looks like so just how many staples are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19. There's 19 staples. So, but that doesn't look bad. What do you think? Just sure they would tell me about that. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, they have to go one at a time. It's um, okay. Uh, I don't think it's that bad. Once it heals, it's not going to be that bad. Better. Um, nothing. But anyway, so this is what it looks like. I mean, you can kind of see the size of it. It's not that bad. So, it's not that bad. So, but you're home. Mm -hmm. It's better than you not being here. So, I'm happy. It's going to be a nice car. Another thing that he has is, I don't know if we showed this or not, but he has a catheter 
And so right now he has this tube that connects to him and then um, it drains in this baggie right there. So I don't want to show you a lot, but yeah, this is what it does. And then um, once we go back, then they're going to have to remove this and it's going to be better. So yeah, but yeah, we'll show you more later.